just real quickly, some of the things the president was asking about, lessons learned, uh, particularly uh, we saw earlier this uh, couple weeks ago as he attended the uh, graduation in Joplin, and lessons from Hurricane Andrew and Katrina is if you don't get debris picked up quickly, if you're not able to restore public infrastructure, particularly get schools open, it's very difficult for communities to come back. And so, again, applying those lessons, re realizing that Joplin was a, a city, but hurricanes can be much larger. The need to get in quickly to support and stabilize to governor and local officials, but really key things that we've learned and reinforced with Joplin. You've got to get the debris out so people can rebuild. You've got to get schools open so that children can get back to their routines. And you need to look at this uh, from the standpoint of what the entire team brings together, not just what government does. Uh, private sector is a key component. Without jobs, without services, it's very difficult for communities to reestablish and be able to recover. Uh, so, again, we continue to work on those efforts, and we continue to encourage people to get ready for hurricanes. Unless you're in the reinsurance business, the seasonal forecast has very little meaning for any actions that you're going to take. Because what the seasonal forecast doesn't tell us is where we'll have a landfalling hurricane. 2010 was one of the most active hurricane seasons. No major landfalling hurricanes have hit the United States. Irene last year uh, impacted this, was, it, was one of the few landfalling hurricanes last couple of years. So the real message about that is it, if you're getting a seasonal forecast, must be time for hurricane season, get ready. But for individuals and most businesses, the seasonal forecast shouldn't change anything because there's never a forecast that says there'll be no hurricanes, and there is no forecast yet that says where they're going to hit or not hit. So if you live along the Gulf Coast, the Atlantic, and as far inland as the folks in Vermont found out last year, you need to be prepared for this hurricane season. Have a plan. Um, I, what I hate to have people do is go through hurricane season worrying all year about hurricanes. What I want them to do is find out about their risk, Take the appropriate steps to get ready. And then if a hurricane threatens, know what to do. And for some folks, that means they'll have to evacuate away from the most dangerous areas. For other people, they need to be prepared for the impacts of the hurricane. One of the big ones, besides flooding, is power outages. But I think, you know, we always worry about the storms. I don't want them to worry. I want them to be prepared. I want them to have a plan and know what to do if the storm threatens. And that's our message every year going into hurricane season. And 